So what do I actually do as a software developer? What's my day to day like? What's my week like? What's my month like? What do I primarily focus on at my job? Every software developer is a little bit different. They're all gonna have different duties. If you're a front end developer, your duties are gonna be different than a back end developer. If you're full stack, you're gonna kind of be doing a little bit of everything. And your level of experience will also probably determine a lot of the duties that you handle on a day to day basis. In my case, I'm a full stack web developer who primarily focuses on front end web development using Angular. And I also focus on a lot of UI UX design that goes into the application that I work on. I do a lot more design than the average front end developer probably does. And I'm involved in a lot of design decisions that go on with business. I mock up wireframes and I present them to business before we go and develop them. Then I also take those wireframes and those mocks and I go and code them out using HTML and CSS. And then I hook up the entities on the back end using Spring Boot and Java. Then I hook up all the front end stuff using Angular and TypeScript. And that's pretty much like a high level of what I do. But on a day to day basis, my duties are a little bit different depending on what's going on and what my schedule looks like. So I've never really sat down and thought about everything I do at work. Everybody's job is different and these numbers are very specific to me and my duties that I do as a software developer. I would say at least 65% of my time I spend on my text editor writing code, implementing new features, fixing bugs, mostly front end stuff, but since I am full stack I do touch it all and that's where most of my time is spent. Some days I code more than others, but I would say that a good Overall average is about 65%. These aren't hard numbers. Sometimes I'm coding 80% of the time. Sometimes I'm coding 50% of the times because I have more meetings and things like that. The next thing I would say that in my particular role, since I do handle a lot of design, I am responsible for the user interface and user experience on our application. And I have to deal with a lot of the stuff that comes with that, which would be wireframing and mocking things up and then prototyping them. Sometimes I'm not doing that much design, so it varies, but I would say that at least 10% of my time spent at work revolves around design, making wireframes, making mocks, prototyping stuff. Even though I prototype some of the stuff in HTML and CSS, I still kind of consider that part of design because I'm not going into full development. It's really just throwing some things on a page to show business and discussing design decisions to make sure that we give our users the best user interface and user experience possible. Then I spend about 5% of my time on DevOps. We have an in-house framework that was built that I help maintain maintain and when it's time to release it and deploy it on Jenkins and update it on our applications, I'm the one that's responsible for that. This last release, we did a lot of updates to our framework, so I did a lot more DevOps work than I usually do. Most of the time, it's not that often. Me and another developer contribute to this framework in-house and I'm responsible for making sure that everything gets merged and deployed correctly. And since we had a lot of stuff go out this release, I did a lot more of that work. But for the most part, we don't update that framework that often. And I don't do that much DevOps work, but I feel that I do enough that I can account at least 5% of my time to DevOps. And I would say that a good 5% of my time goes towards code review. And when I'm code reviewing, I'm reading other people's code, I'm pulling down their branches locally and building it and running it to make sure that there's no errors that stick out right away and to make sure that their code works. I comment on it and we interact and, dis and sometimes we discuss different ways of doing things. And the reason why I didn't include code review in the time that I spend programming is because because code review kind of has to do with other people's code and things that other people are implementing. And it's not really stuff that I'm writing. I consider my items that go into code review in that 65%, but when I'm code reviewing other people's items and you know just reviewing all the team's commits and everything that they're trying to merge, and pulling that stuff down and testing it and you know talking and communicating with people through code review and leaving comments and whatnot, I would say that that's about 5% of my time. I would say that about 5% of my time goes to emails and communicating with people through Skype and Teams, comments and Jira tickets and any kind of office correspondence that I need to have. Everybody's job is different and these numbers are very specific to me and my duties that I do as a software developer. Some people are definitely gonna have to write more emails and correspond with people way more, but I would say that 5% is about average. Of course,
course, some days are more than others where I just have to answer more emails or I have to talk to other developers or business or people that have questions, testers and different people that just reach out to me and people that I have to reach out to to get information. It, it, it's always different, but I'd say a good 5% goes to emails. Moving on, I would say another 5% goes to planning and not just meetings, but planning meetings and everything that goes around like implementing new things and, and discussing how we're gonna do certain things, discussing how we're gonna handle things in the database, discussing how we're gonna handle things in design and on the front end, discussing how things should work and components should interact, sprint planning and going through tickets. Since my lead developer and my project manager and the lead tester kind of do a lot of that, stuff. I'm not involved in too many of the planning meetings. I would say 5% is probably on the lower end, but since I'm trying to average everything out and trying to figure out where all my time actually goes, since I'm not involved in too much planning, I would say that 5% of my time goes to planning. But when we're early in a release and we're planning for a bunch of stuff, it could be like 20% of my time going into planning. But really, Overall, it's about 5%. The last 5% goes to meetings. And I know that a lot of experienced developers are probably like, yeah, right, only 5% to meetings. Again, this is different throughout different times of the year and throughout different parts of the release cycle. And depending on what we have coming up, I may not have as many meetings. And luckily in my role, I don't have to attend too many meetings and many of the meetings that I'm a part of are optional. Only if there's something that has to do with a design decision am I ever really required on a meeting. And I do attend most of my meetings and even with attending most of the meetings that I get invited to, I still don't have that many meetings. At my previous job, I would say this number would be about 20% of my time would have been in meetings. At this current job, I would say 5% is about average. So again, with these numbers, they all vary and they'll fluctuate. And I'm just trying to give you a general idea of what it's like for me in my current role. Everybody is gonna be different. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, depending on your duties, depending on your title, depending on your responsibilities and your experience and just where you're at in your company and in your role, you might have a lot more DevOps and you might be responsible for all the stuff that gets merged and released on a regular basis. I don't. So only a small amount of my time goes to that. If you're a front end developer who does zero design, then that extra 10% that I spend on design would probably go towards development. And who knows, maybe you have more meetings and that extra 10% actually just goes to your meetings because you don't do any design and you don't really get that extra time because it's being spent in another place such as meetings and not really development. So it varies for everyone and I just wanted to kind of put some numbers on it to give people a better idea of kind of how my time is allocated and distributed amongst all the duties that I do at my role. But for the most part, I would say that everything I mentioned here are things that are very common for most engineering jobs, just the numbers are different for everyone. You kind of see that it's not just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all day. I'm a full stack developer who focuses on front end and I do everything from deploy libraries to go to meetings to a little bit of DevOps, a little bit of design, mostly development work and a few meetings here and there is pretty much what I do all day as a software developer. And hopefully that gave you a good idea of what a software developer actually does all day at work. Because I know a lot of the day in life videos out there just kind of our lifestyle videos and don't really cover what we do on a regular basis as a, our job. And it's hard to show what a software developer does all day because honestly it would be eight hours of someone just sitting at a computer for the most part. All right, with all that said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you next time.